Welcome back to News 5 at 6 o'clock. Five years ago, dozens of tornadoes broke out across the state. This is file video of one of those tornadoes barreling through Tuscaloosa. 234 people died in Alabama, hundreds more injured. The storm system caused $4.2 billion in damages. News 5 meteorologist Thomas Giboy takes a look at the path of one of the largest tornadoes. Get in there, get in there, y'all, get in there. Oh, where's things going? Look at it. Oh, my God. The tornado outbreak on April 27, 2011, saw 199 tornadoes across 14 states in the southeastern United States. But 62 of those 199 tornadoes were in the state of Alabama. What made this day so unique and also scary was how long these tornadoes tracked and how violent these storms were. In terms of the strongest one and also the deadliest one, we look to the Hackleberg tornado in the north central portions of Alabama. This one came in as an EF5 with winds of 210 miles per hour. The total length of this storm was 132 miles. Now for some perspective on that, that would take you from Meridian, Mississippi to Mobile, Alabama, not to mention it was three quarters of a mile wide. This storm was long tracked and it was extremely violent. About how the Tuscaloosa tornado mm -hmm. destroyed about 12% of the town. Right. For the Hackleberg tornado, it destroyed 75% of the town. So very dangerous. I was in northern Mississippi that day. It just felt different. Right. And even here, we were watching very closely on the southern edge. Fortunately, there was no major impact on that date here. Yeah, exactly. But still, want to make sure everyone understands we're still in our severe weather season here. That's right. And it's still very mindful, and we can't forget what happened on April 27th, 2011. And the photo behind you, we can take this photo full screen, and this photo gives you very clearly that 75% you just talked about. Now, these were intense tornadoes, and the number of tornadoes was record-breaking, something that you only see basically once a generation, once every 20 to 30 years. But that's a clear message to always have a plan.